Jim Toohey, such a pleasure to meet you. Now tell me exactly what's going on behind me. Um, well, this is Ludo Sport. It's a lightsaber combat, the sport. So um, think fencing, but with lightsabers. When did it actually start? It started seven years ago in Italy. And how long have you been doing it? Two years now. I, I taught martial arts sword play beforehand. And I mean, half the time when I had a sword in my hand, I was pretending it was a lightsaber anyway. <laughs> so, uh, if amazing. I'm being honest. You know. And how much are you looking forward to the new Star Wars film? Oh, you've no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so we can see that there's lots of different coloured lightsabers in the background. So what does each colour represent? When you first start and you're a youngling or a Padawan, you're going to be locked to a blue blade. Once you pass your Jedi exam, then you can have any colour blade you want except red. And if you take a Sith exam, then you're locked to a red blade. Okay, and um, Sith, they're the bad guys. They're the bad guys. Right, next thing. Cool. So what you do next is you get your guard position, because you don't want people to just be running into you. So you hold the saber with the tip pointing between their eyes. When the tip is pointing at them, they don't know how far away you are. They just see a circle. So they're less inclined to charge oh in, you know? Oh my god. Um, okay, cool. Okay, so very quickly, the first blocks are, imagine there was a big like um, pail of milk here and here. You pull the saber up this way, and then you just kind of stir the milk like this. Stir in the milk. That's it. <laughs> stir in the milk. We have really stupid ways of teaching everything. Amazing. Okay, what's next? So at the start of every fight, we have an opening salute. And what that is, it's basically you bring the saber up in front of you, mm -hmm. then you swipe it down, and you go into your guard like this. Oh. Okay. How do I win? What, like, how does the point system work? Um, we have two different types of points in Ludo Sport. There's a non-mortal blow, which is from the fingertips to the elbow and the toes to the knee. Anything else is considered mortal, and that's a point conceded. Um, there's no stabbing, and there's no contact to the face or the side of the head, only to the top. So I can do one of these little lads thing, can I? Yep. Okay, cool, and then you're dead. Oh, basically, yeah, I'd be out of there. So how many points do I need to win? Three points generally, but it depends on who's judging or what the situation is. If you're just sparring a friend, you might put it at like seven or something to get the exercise you want. So once you're in your guard, it's basically go time, okay? Okay, it's go time. So, All right, Jim, let's do this. Let's go. I feel like I'm gonna break it. Oh no, you won't. Don't worry. <laughs> did I just lose my legs there? Totally. Totally did. Yeah. Okay, well look, we'll just pretend that didn't happen. Let's keep going. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what do you reckon? Is the force strong with this one or what? Oh yeah, big time. Yeah? Crazy strong. So am I gonna be a Sith or a Jedi? Oh, I think there's a lot of Sith there. Are yeah. you serious? <laughs> okay, well look, I'm not so good yet. So can we see? what it's like to see a Jedi and a Sith actually combat. Of course, yeah. Class.